Hi, how are you everyone? Have you a nice day? I am Dr. Ramuda, Assistant Professor of Physics, the Standard Fireworks Rajaratnam College for Women, Sivagasi. Today we are going to see about the broad classification of polymers and basic concepts of polymer signs. So polymers, it look like long chain. So the chain which is consists of molecules, large number of molecules. It may be classified as plastics, fibers and elastomers. Uh, plastic also long chain molecules but the property is varying. So it is, it is non-conducting material. It is used in many applications. The fibers, it look like long chain. So it, we could not break easily uh, with respect to the length. Next, elastomers. The elastomers. Elastomer, it has the unique properties for polymers. Next, we are going to see about overview of this title. That is, we have to learn about the basic concepts of polymer science. Classify the types of polymers. Analyze the polymerization and polymerization, poly molecular weight and the molecular distribution of polymers and uh, learn about the structure of polymers and also we have to know and learn about the structure of the polymers. Okay, F before that we should know first learn about the basic concepts of polymers. That is the polymerization process, how it is polymerization occur. Okay, so then we have to see about uh, the classify the types of polymers, um, then the polymerization process. There are different kind of, kind of polymerization process. Uh, there are three types that also we will discuss in this, uh, in this video. Then we have to learn about the different structures of polymers. So what is polymers? Uh, basic concepts of polymers. Uh, polymers, I already told, polymer is a long chain molecules which is made up of many repeating units called monobus. Next, the degree of polymerization, uh, we should know the polymer, the polymer chain molecules which has very long length. So, this may be the repeated units of chain, the, how much the repeated uh, units of chain is occurred that is called as the degree of polymerization. So, the degree of polymerization is also defined as uh, molecular weight of a polymer and molecular weight of the single monomer. So, monomer is the uh, consists of uh, repeated units that is chains, is every single monomer contains some number of molecules. Okay, here the molecular weight of the polymers is the product of the polymer weight of the repeated unit under the depolarization, uh, under the degree of polarization. Next, the molecules having low uh, de degree of polymerization uh, are called oligomers. That is given here, uh, this the large molecule, that large molecule which is called as the uh, oligomer. Okay, there are different kind of polymerization. Uh, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization and co-polymerization. So addition polymerization, addition polymerization means uh, the same unit which may be repeated, repeated in many times it is attached together to the bonds. Then uh, condensation polymerization, then condensation polymerization, this one is in this polymerization involves two monomers that have different function group with the losing some molecules as byproducts such as water or methanol. It is also known as step growth polymerization. The next one is co-polymerization. The co-polymerization method when a mixture of more than one or different monomeric samples is allowed to polymerize and form a co-polymer. Then we call this process as co-polymerization. Then molecular weight, when polymers are fabricated, there will always be a distribution of chain lengths. The properties of polymers depends heavily on the molecular length. Heavily on the molecular length, there are uh, two ways we, to calculate the average polymers. First one is number of average molecular weight. The second one is weight average molecular weight. Here the number of average molecular weight that is denoted as Mn4 which is equal to summation of Xi Mi. Here the Mi is represent the Mi is representing the mean molecular weight of range of 5. The I we are giving the some values 1, 2, 3 up to etc. Then Xi is the fraction Xi is the fraction of the total number of chains. Then next we have to see about weight average molecular weight. The formula is different. Here we can use the Wi instead of Xi. Uh, then we have to obtain the 
different structures of polymers. The structures of polymers very important uh, to know about the properties of the materials. So here this is the uh, linear structure. In this polymers monomers are linked with each other and form a long straight chain. These chains have no any side chains. Okay. These molecules are closely packed and have high density and high melting point. The next one is the branched polymers. The branched polymers here they have a straight line chain with a different side chains. Their, molecule, their molecules are irregularly packed hence they have low density, tensile strength and melting point. The next one is the cross linked polymer. This one is the cross linked, the first one is the cross linked polymer. Here in this monomeric units are linked together to constitute a 3D network. The links involved are called cross links. They are hard, rigid and brittle to do their network structure. Then the last one is network polymers across linked polymer the, that includes numerous interconnection inter between the chain. So here if the, you can see the figure there are many interconnection is available. Uh, here, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for watching this video.